Phuket, the Pearl of the Andaman Sea, is known as a one-of-a-kind luxury destination and has something to offer to everyone. So here's our top 10 list of things to do in Phuket. Number 10. Going to Big Buddha Big Buddha is the island's largest Buddha shrine. The humongous Buddha is not just revered among the karma-concerned islanders, it is also a veritable tourist magnet. Head here to take a photo with your loved ones and take in the mind-blowing vistas of the Andaman Sea. It is best to visit Phuket's Big Buddha at sunset and take delight in its flaming red celestial palette. Number 9. Hunting for Touristic Marvels Apart from the giant Buddha statues, other prime tourist landmarks include Wat Shalong Temple, Wat Ban Kamala Temple, Wat Suan Kiriket Temple, and Patong Mosque. All ranked sky high on TripAdvisor, Shin Prasha House is a mind-blowing colonial structure redolent of the city's glorious past and one of the few colonial mansions you can visit. Number 8. Doing Water Sports in Phuket even though most come to the island to bask in the warm Thai sun and splash around in the transparent waters of the Andaman, you really must do water sports when in Phuket. You can do tubing, scuba diving, paragliding, banana riding, or even zoom to the horizon on a zippy jet ski. Head to Patong, Karon, Kamala Beaches, and other West Coast resorts to profit from the water sports bonanza. Take a dip yourself and then plop down on a cozy long chair for a cocktail soiree. Number 7. Hiking One of the best things to do in Phuket to unveil its rich biodiversity is to go on a hiking trip. You can also explore some of the island's most off-the-beaten-track locales and see how authentic Thailand can be. One popular hiking route is Banana Rock Beach, a deserted beach paradise nestling between West Coast Ban Phai Beach and Nai Thanh. The trail length is short, but the path can be pretty steep, making it suitable for both amateurs and more experienced trackers. Another popular hiking route is Kata Beach to Big Buddha. Trekking here is really nice, thanks to the great signage and splendid views, especially enigmatic at sunset and sunrise. The trail is 4.6 kilometers and steep enough to be a treat for the most seasoned hiking aficionados. Note that the best time to go hiking in Phuket is from April to November, when the weather is mild and not stifling hot. Number 6. Going Clubbing one of the things you can't miss in Phuket is going on a club crawl. Head on a party binge with your hostel mates or fellow backpackers and see how mind-blowing nights in Thailand can be. The nightlife destination of choice for most of the party-starved travelers is Patong Beach and its many night establishments, some of which are somewhat sanitized, while some are still considered quite insalubrious. You can easily get lost in the Warren-like maze of strip clubs, lounges, and dancing juggernauts. If you're not that much into throngs of drunk tourists, you can head for a calmer night out at Karon Beach to the north but still close to Patong. Or you can head further north to Kamala Beach, which is famous for its chilled beach clubs and hippie vibe. Number 5. Bird Watching Bird watching is another must-to-do in Thailand. You can go bird watching at Tonsai Waterfall or less mainstream locations like Kamala Beach or the hiking trail to the giant Buddha from Kata Beach. Number 4. Elephant Sanctuary Your trip to Phuket can't be complete without a visit to the Elephant Sanctuary. The Elephant Sanctuary's rescue and care for the injured, sick, and old elephants. Riding elephants and elephant shows are not allowed. Still, you can get close encounters with these beautiful animals during the feeding program. Some sanctuaries even allow you to shower the elephants. You can book a half-day trip to the elephant sanctuaries in the links below. Number 3. Having a Spa Phuket is world famous for its luxurious spa resorts, which often come in the shape of huge, well-developed resort villages, complete with their own canals, traveling infrastructure, commerce, and white sand beaches. The best places to book a wellness retreat include Bimalai Spa Resort, rated 4.8 on Google, Santia, boasting a Google 4.6 score, Cape Panwa Hotel, 4.6, and many others, including TripAdvisor top darlings like Sothai Spa Phuket Privilege, Anantara Spa, and Divana Patong. One of the best options to book is if you're willing to combine wellness and night adventures. 
Number 2. Food Tour Phuket offers a great variety of different food and drinks establishments. Still, since they're so numerous, it's pretty tricky to navigate the local food stage on your own. To facilitate the chase for culinary marvels, go on one of the top three Phuket Island food tours. Best rated is the Phuket Old Town Food Tour, which is at about 70 US dollars. This allows not just to take pleasure in the authentically Asian Old Town fare, but also to marvel at the beautiful townscape of the island's capital. The number two Phuket TripAdvisor food tour is Phuket Night Food Tour and Old Town Magical Lights, which will set you back at around 100 US dollars and take you around the moon and neon lit Phuket City. Number three is the fine dining experience at La Grita Restaurant, one of the best experiences to acquaint yourself with the top notch cuisine. Number one, island hopping. Phuket is the ideal hub if you want to island hop in the Andaman Sea. You could experience the remarkable natural beauty of the azure waters, the green robe limestone islands, and the wonderful dive sites all in one day. One of the most popular destinations is PP Island, about a one hour speedboat ride from Phuket. You can find anything you want on the PP Islands, beaches, mountains, caves, and cliff climbing to name a few. A quieter alternative is Coral Island. It is accessible by a 15-minute speedboat ride from Phuket and tends to have lesser crowds. For families with kids and the elderly, Panga Bay or James Bond Island is the ideal choice. While having no beaches, Panga Bay is home to various limestone caves. Some more relaxing activities are available, such as guided kayak tours and fishing. The best time to visit would be at sunset, as you get to catch a glimpse of Thai water lanterns at dusk. Check out the links in the description for more information about these activities. Have fun in Phuket! Which activity is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below.